Welcome to the Heartland Author Channel. I'm Aaron Apollo Camp. Merry Christmas to everyone who celebrates. For today's video, I'm going to discuss the difference between plot-driven fiction and character-driven fiction, as well as why I don't believe that one is inherently better than the other. There are several other videos by fellow author tubers about this subject, and I'll link to each of them in the description box below, and I'll also link to a couple online articles about this subject in the description box below. Plot-driven fiction is characterized by a greater focus on a clear, structured, and well-developed overall story plot than on character development. In a plot-driven story, external conflict is typically far more prominent than any internal conflict that a character might experience. Elements associated with plot-driven fiction include plot twists and multi-act story structures. Plot-driven fiction is commonly found in genre fiction, especially in mysteries and thrillers, although stories in virtually any genre of genre fiction can be or typically are plot-driven. Character-driven fiction, on the other hand, is characterized by a greater focus on a deep level of character development, especially for the main character, than on plot or story structure. In a character-driven story, internal conflict within the main character is typically much more prominent than external conflict. Elements associated with character-driven fiction include character arcs and backstories. Character-driven fiction is widely regarded as a hallmark of literary fiction, but elements of character-driven fiction can be found in genre fiction as well. I do not have a strong personal preference for plot-driven stories or character-driven stories in the sense that I don't regard either one as inherently superior to the other. A good plot-driven story will need interesting characters even if character development isn't as high of a priority as the overall story structure. Failure points of plot-driven stories can include a plot that is underdeveloped, a plot that is too complex, characters who are boring, uninteresting, or undeveloped, or the lack of intriguing plot twists. A good character-driven story will need a compelling plot, even if the plot isn't as structured or developed as a plot of a typical plot-driven story. Failure points of character-driven stories can include a main character that is uninteresting or not highly developed, a main character that is overdeveloped, or a story where the plot doesn't match the character arc. Stories don't have to be strictly plot-driven or strictly character-driven. I like to think of the concepts of plot-driven stories and character-driven stories as existing on a linear spectrum, with plot-driven stories at one end and character-driven stories at the other end, and the middle of the spectrum consisting of stories with both plot-driven and character-driven elements. This is my final video here on the Heartland Author channel for 2021, but I will be back with more new videos in the new year. This is Aaron Apollo Camp reminding y'all to write your imagination and have a safe and happy holiday season. See y'all next year.